I'll tell you, this is kicking it with Ben. Now, this video is going to be about a messed up table saw here. Now, this table saw came from my mother's place when uh, her husband died. Now, it runs like a brand new one, which I got the blade off of it right now. Swapping blades, but there's some stuff I'm going to do to it while I got it, the blade off of it. But y'all see, I got that plate that goes right here where the blade comes from. I got it often. But what this video is about, really, is I've never seen one that had this design to it. Now, it's got numbers around it in a arch-type manner. Never seen one like that. But y'all see the edges match perfectly, precisely, evenly. But I've never seen nothing like this on a table done. Now, let's get around here and see what brand it is. I can't remember. It's Ryobi. But I would like to know what you would be cutting with a table saw. And see, y'all see, it's got a slot for blades, and that leads me to believe that this really don't belong on this table saw. Even if you removed it to the middle, the slot's offset. So I've never seen nothing like that on the table saw. But we're going to make the plate work because it gives me more of a base for my wood to slide up. But this does not belong me, and I don't have another piece of this to replace it with, but this fits evenly and precisely around the edge line. But this is table style top. But I get the blade back on it, and I mount this here base. It don't look like it belongs to it. I'm going to mount it down here, get the blade back on it, and we'll try it out. Maybe not today, but next few days anyway. But I got to get this plate screwed down, mounted to the frame of the table saw. And I guess I'll make it operational just for regular wood cutting. But that's it on table saw top on this episode. So this is uh, Kicking It With Ben, and we will kick it again. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and hit that little ding -a ling bell for other notifications of other videos. Falling out of the sky. And y'all don't forget to check out Jordan's woodworking as well. He does good work, like I say. All right, later, gamer.